Okay, folks, I don't know if you can hear me, but uh, this is a tractor that Jermaine's been working on for the past week. And uh, he's really looking good. He's, uh, it's only the third time he's ever driven a tractor pulling a piece of farm equipment. So uh, we're going to try to make a video of that. Anyway, he's driven tractors many, many times in his life. It was the first time he's ever actually pulled a couple. He did the other day, took that pile back there and piled this ground on the edge of my garden. And just get up yesterday, did a fantastic job. So I thought I'd come out here and take a video of it. All right, check him out. <laughs> position here. <laughs> Check him out. Good beautiful disking job. Check this dish out when it comes by. It's a little bit light, lightweight. So to really cut through we put that uh, blue Ford uh, landscape plate on it gave it a little bit of weight. He cut the ground up really good. In fact, uh, take a look at that. Take a look at that. Doing a fantastic job. Yes, sir. Here he comes for a long path. He's doing great. By the way, I'm on the other Ford ADM we got right here. It's a darker gray. It wasn't factory color at all. But uh, we got the factory color for the other one. You can see the back half of the factor is old. When we got the tractor together like big dummies, we didn't even think. Painted it all up, made it look like brass making new. We got it together, the hydraulics didn't work. And we tried to break it apart to uh, get to it and couldn't. So we just said, took one of the other older tractors we have and broke the back part of, off of it and put it on that tractor. And I mean, this one works great. In fact, uh, it works better than a brand new tractor of this age when it came off the showroom floor. Showroom floor on a, a Ford 80 n or 9N was roughly uh, 60, 63 PSI on the motor and this one has got 115 psi d is working great the hydraulics work so good that if we hook it to a tree it'll pick the front of the tractor up off the ground so the hydraulics work great pt is working fantastic the engine itself is unreal i mean keep pulling like crazy it's doing good Okay. Let me uh, see if I can get this track in a little bit better position here. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, I got something going on here with, oh, there we go. Got the swing off on the camera. Okay. Look at the wife out there behind one of the bushes, watering the garden. Let's see if I can get her. There she is.
I put the tractor. It's going to look great when I get that back in painted up. It looks good. It's uh, Saturday, August the 18th, about 5.30, 6 o'clock in the afternoon, 2018. The rain's got to go back to the Netherlands tomorrow morning. The plane leaves about 9 o'clock, somewhere around there, a.m. So, letting him have a little fun driving the tractor. He's enjoying the heck out of this. Well, he's tearing that dirt up really nice. I mean, really nice. I like these people to notice how easy, without even slowing down, picking that disc up and dropping it the right time, every time. Most people that take for a full day of practice to get that down right before it had down yesterday in less than 15 minutes. I mean, he is amazing. Yep, that's why I call his dad my little brother and him my nephew. <laughs> he is one intelligent kid. Let's see if we can get the old lady she got out from behind all those bushes now. There she is. Hey, babe! My bell! Wait a minute. I lost her. Oh, Lord. Oh, well. There she is. <laughs> kind of hard to call the camera still when you zoom in like that. It makes it really difficult. That boy is having a ball. He's turning up some ground now. Woo! The yeah, tractor I'm on right now, sitting on, uh, is the Ford 8 in that uh, I got from a guy named John here in Texas, up north of here, about an hour and a half away. Runs like a top. But just like any old piece of equipment, it's got its little quirk. I mean, it, it won't start when it's cold without the choke. But let me tell you something. You hit that starter, and it fires. You best be ready to turn that choke off now. Or it Quick, it fires up every time, cold or hot. Got good strong uh, engine on it. Uh, it's got a couple of rough back tires, but they still got about four or five years worth of life in them. The one uh, remains on, the rear end we took off. I got two brands making new tires on it. I got to figure out how to get the tires off put on this tractor that he's on right now. That way she'll have new rubber, uh, tires and tubes all the way around. Super strong motor, really strong hydraulics, and great PTO. A good tractor. Good tractor. I don't know if I want to sell that one or keep it. Probably keep it for myself. Sell the one I'm on. I've got two others, but uh, one of them we're just using for parts. The third one I'm going to... Uh, that's a call it the fourth one. The third one, it runs great, works great, everything on it. Uh, just got to get it hanged up and get it ready to sell. So here in a very short time, I'm going to have two tractors for sale if anybody's interested. Okay. And I've got a black farm coming over there around the fence line. I've got uh, one row cultivators. I've got uh, four or five bush hogs. Got about three or four greater blades, and uh, in fact, the one you see is on the uh, it's a six foot grade blade, it's on the disc right now for extra weight. Okay, all right, I think I'll go ahead and end this video before it gets too long and boring for people to do this. Smile on that boy's face, he's having a blast. All right, have a great time, people. All right, Jermaine. Whoa! Whoa! That cut it out too soon, too quick. All right, we're going to take a run around the block here. It's exactly one mile and 200 feet around the block where I live, so we're going to take a run around there to see what we can see. Everybody, stay tuned.
Oh, that boy loves to go fast. There's teenagers for you. <laughs> yeah, he got her in third gear right now. This is a third gear, a uh, three gear tractor, which uh, is actually uh, a nine in, was a nine in tractor, but with an eight in uh, motor block. And then we turned right around when we swapped out the rear end, we put an eight in rear end block on it. So actually, right now, the only thing that's dying in about the tractor is the uh, front end itself and uh, the transmission. Everything else is eight in tractor. This is amazing how these things are kind of like uh, intermarry like that. Let me see if I can switch this thing into a higher gear and get catch up with them. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I got her in fourth gear now. Oh, the amazing thing is, we set on, got out here on this road last night and uh, opened them up. I had mine in fourth gear, he had his in third gear and uh, open them wide open and mine would go faster than his but hell it took me about 400 yards just to get 50 or 60 feet in front of him so there's not much difference between the third third gear on a uh, nine head as there is a fourth gear on an uh, eight head there's not a whole lot of difference you definitely don't want to pull any kind of farming implement in the uh, third or fourth gear in these tractors Way too big on that. First and second's about it, but they're comfortable, comfortable set in. The camera shows me bouncing a lot more than I really am. It's just, you know, my hand, I guess. Whoa! I <laughs> just got this bug. Oh, here we go. I don't even know if I'm going to put this one on, on YouTube or not. It's just too big on bouncing. Big boy, turn around, and wave at the camera. All right. thing about these tractors, uh, the ones that came from the factory, if they're not in gear, the starter will not engage. You cannot start one of these uh, if it's in gear. It has to be a neutral. Now sometimes when people rewire them from the original 6 volt to 12 volt, if they do away with the uh, foot starter, the little starter button here, right here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, this thing right here, if you do away with that and use a key starter, it uh, negates that safety device, so 
Uh, be careful. If you, if you buy one of these tractors that has a plug off the starter system and it starts by a key, be very careful and make sure that it does not start in neutral. And if it doesn't, I mean, if, if it will if it'll start in gear, just be careful right because they can be very dangerous. Once these things start, even at an idle, they have unreal power. Unbelievable power. Alright, let me see if I can get this thing in fourth gear here. Yeah, I think that's it. Be a little bit too long. 